There's a great new user testing feature that I'm gonna tell you all about today, and I'm even gonna tell you a secret way to use it. That new feature is all about validating your screener questions automatically in the user testing platform. Let me show you how it works. Now, this is a feature that is exclusive to surveys for the time being, but I'm gonna show you how to use it in other places too. Now, right down here, you can see I'm in my audience builder. Right here, I've got a screener question that's set up. Very simple question. It says, do you like ice cream? Then, yes, no. Very simple, you have to pick yes to move on. Now, if you've been following Mike's tip videos for a while about user testing, you're gonna know that I always recommend you don't use binary questions, they're easy to guess. People might think, yes, they absolutely want us to guess, to say that we like ice cream. But if you scroll down, we now have this option that says check for common screener mistakes. And I'm just gonna go ahead and click this and see what, what it tells us. It gives us a great suggestion, which is exactly what I just said previously, consider adding more answers to make it less guessable. We don't wanna lead them to certain answers. So we might wanna redo this question so that it's not guessable. Now, the way that I would personally redo it is I would say, please check off all the things that you like to eat. And then I'd have a bunch of options of which ice cream is one, ice cream is mandatory, and I might even have a couple of bogus ones in there if you've seen some of my other uh, beat the cheaters with screener questions videos. So if this is only available in surveys, how on earth can you use it in unmoderated or moderated tests? Very simple. When you're building your unmoderated test and you're building your screener questions for your audience build, just go ahead, create another tab and start a survey draft. And you're gonna put your screener question into the survey, put all your screeners in there, put all the answers. Yeah, it's gonna take a little bit more time, but would you rather waste that time later? This is user testing. We, we're all about testing before we go live with something. And that includes tests. That's why we have the preview function. So build out a survey audience where you have your screeners, you've got the answers, and then just hit that button to check your screeners, see what kind of feedback you get. And if it's perfect, if you've got no suggestions, you know your screener's gonna be good. If you've got a couple things to tweak, you can go ahead in your unmoderated study and tweak those to match up with what we told you was gonna be the best way to do things. That's gonna be it for now. Hopefully I see a lot of people using this screener guidance function in the surveys and using my special little hack to do it in moderated and unmoderated tests as well. That's gonna be it for now, but don't worry, I'll be back again soon. Until then, I will see you later.